for you guys, what is street crimes? Is it still, are you subject to call or are you guys investigating um, crime trends, specific things that, you know, violent crimes? What is it? So I'm on a unit called Community Orienting Police, oriented, let me try that again, (laughs) Community Oriented Policing Squad. That sounds a lot better than crime suppression team, right? Anti-crime unit. Um, It's the same thing, but because we go once a month or once every couple months, we'll go to community events and take Facebook photos. It's a government grant. So this this whole nine people with two supervisors uh per per rotation um is all federally funded um so uh they provide three years so that's what i do now um we don't take calls for service we can help out on hot calls i'm guilty of it so is my squad i can't just let an in progress crime go on when i'm close i can't yeah nor should you yeah um, I don't care if it's a retail theft of like shoes at Goodwill. You know, if I can stop a crime or at least get the patrol guy an arrest, because I hated that being on patrol. I still hate it now. Like you go and you try so hard your whole shift to catch this guy. And then the guys to the next day catch him based yeah. off of all. And it just sucks. It, it, overall, that's how it has to happen. And especially if you're a detective, you're not going to get that instant gratification all the time. You do all the legwork. And then somebody's like, Hey, I got him. And you're like, yeah, that's good. That's all I care about. You know? Yeah. But, uh, you know, we do essentially just, um, sometimes we'll, one guy will work one thing, you know, I got guys in my unit trying to go to, uh, trying to go different places. So that's what they work narcotics. They work. we got, uh, guys interested in, um, uh, robbery guys interested in gangs, you know? Um, so we will, they'll pick up what they pick up um their own little cases when they cross train with these units they'll come back with hey i got a house and it will work as a team to help this guy achieve his warrant um his ticket on the house or or if we don't have anything we'll just go out there and just start uh wolf packing um and i'm a firm believer and and I, i shouldn't be calling patrol to do anything if i'm working with a with a couple guys you know we should be able to handle our own unless I need like a Spanish speaker and we don't have one or something like that. But I try, I try to be there for patrol, but I do not like to create extra work for patrol because those guys are out there working. Yes. Yes. So me as a future Sergeant, like I'm, um, I got, I got a small taste. I was actually put in a position that was supposed to be my permanent position. When I promote, they're like, Hey, we know you're already on our side of town. We're going to put you in this position. Nobody's putting in for it anyway. So we're going to put you there early and then it'll be yours when the time comes. So I got about a month and a half, almost two months of patrol time in as a sergeant. And while I'm doing that, I'm trying to like go back into patrol mine. You know, I, here I am. I'm, I'm a wolf hunter. You know, we're constantly hunting. Uh, that's what my unit did. Um, and it, it's nonstop. So it's in me. Like I can't help it. I get out there and I'm digging. Well, here I am as a sergeant, and I'm like, okay, the one thing I remember the most is sergeants that would dig shit up and then pass it off. Here you go. I got this for you, patrol guys. And I hated that. I hated that. Because you de- you got none of the fun, now you got all the work. Yeah. And, and you're dumping that shit off on your patrol guys. So here I am going back, and I'm like, I am not going to do that. But that is a hard instinct to fight. When you're driving down the street and you see a paper tag go by and you're like, the the radar is going off. You're like, that guy. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to explain to people oh, that don't Texas do this. Texas temp tags. Oh, my God. They're yes. everywhere. They're not yes. even real. No, no. <laughs> I can tell They're you all right over now, Florida. <laughs> nine out of ten of the, the temp tags where I'm at in my neighborhood are not real. So knowing that and then being out there and I'm like, I feel... And this is something, you know, people out there, future supervisors, all this stuff. You feel like you're not doing your job because you're not actively going after people. You're not catching people. But, and you'll appreciate this from your military time, you have to remember, somebody's got to step back and help handle the bigger picture. Because when you're the patrol guy and your knees deep in the shit, you're not thinking about that. You're thinking about right here, right now. 
And if you as a supervisor for my sergeant, future sergeants out there, if you catch yourself, you're like, no, I want to show. I want to lead from the front. I want to show them. Lead by example. You can't fucking do that. Because you're yeah. going to get tied up and shit's going to hit the fan and they're going to need you for that. And the, the ivory tower is going to need you for that. And here you are wrapped up on a bullshit burglary of a vehicle. And because you couldn't let it go, uh, that yeah. you promoted out of that. That's not you anymore. You don't I get had, to do that. I had to have a conversation with a, a corporal one time. He was newly promoted. A uh, great dude. Uh, he was a go-getter. And he stopped this car. But at the end of shift... At the oh, end you shift. motherfucker. <laughs> and he found all, I mean, we're talking dope. He didn't find any guns, but warrants, dope. Uh, and the biggest thing was a bunch of fucking IDs and credit cards. Oh, know. no. He found all that at the end of shift. All those victims. And then he, <laughs> he, yeah. And then he, uh, and then he goes, all right, here you go, man. And I, I was like, oh. I was like, I know you're new and I know you did not mean this, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. I go home on time. And the next time you catch it, you clean it. The next time you do this, I'm not going to be here. And he was like, and then I, I talked to him. I was a little stern. It was covered yeah. in some comedy and humor, but he knew. And the next day he was like, hey, dude, I, I kind of realized I fucked you on that. Sorry, dude. Yeah. And, uh, the but, light bulb goes off because yeah. you don't think about it. You're in wolf hunter mode. You're like, fuck, I got him. And then you don't think about the end. 